Modified Swine Apple Arcade only build, yes please. Over 2,600 arcade titles. Play all your favorite retro arcade games. Runs great on the Raspberry Pi 3. Let's have a look at this collection. So this image does need to be expanded if you, which you have to do. Um, otherwise, this is not gonna work. So go to Raspberry Pi config. I need to expand the file system. Go over here to advanced. I have it set up with a keyboard expand file system. Okay, it has been resized. Finish, are you sure you want to? Yes. So now you should be able, you have to do this as the first thing you do when you go in. You can use a controller or a keyboard to get to this step. Arcade build, basically what this is, is a, um, is updated swine apple build with added arcade games and uh, as long as you do that thing as I mentioned with your controller you should be good to go it is running card crazy theme but it comes with retro rama green alicious box alloy a couple others and you can always add your own themes as well um, something you might want to do in here is VRAM you want it at about 140 150 for this to actually run right sound settings also I like to lower it a little bit but other than that um, the other thing is you might want to change this to instant right here is good as well. All right, there we go. Now, see, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. All right, so that's good. Um, the other thing, this is Mad Little Pixels version of this theme. As you can see here, UI settings, it's crazy, card crazy MLP. Um, the newer one, the one that's probably out is probably a little bit more responsive because it's an updated version of it. So what this is, is it's just arcade style games. So Daphne, you have Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2. Arcade, you have 2367. And then within there, you have a CPS folder with all your Capcom Play System games. But you also have the CPS collections over here as well. Um, you can add those in. Uh, game collections, automated. You can do all games. Let's go ahead and add that. And then custom game selections, we can add CPS 1, 2, and 3. And uh, that should be added to there as well if you want those shortcuts. So there you go. Now I have CPS 1, 2, and 3 like that. Uh, total of 60, 56 games on the CPS. Total games on this whole image is 2,509. 2,300 of them are regular K, 2 Daphne, and then the CPS games as well. Now here's a quick scroll through on the arcade games. There still are a few duplicates in here, like The Simpsons I found twice, Track and Field I found twice, but there's like five or six games that just have two ROMs, not a big deal. But other than that, as you can see, you see a JPEG, and then these go into video snaps. Now this does not have a track mode. A lot of people getting this image are gonna want it for a bar top, because this is gonna allow you to have arcade games on a Raspberry Pi 3. A lot of people put those Raspberry Pi 3s in a bar top in arcade cabinet. So an already set up, ready to go arcade image where the config file is all up to date. So your metadata is there, your pictures, your video snaps. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this a B plus. The reason I wouldn't give it an A is, I mean, I would have loved to see this on a, um, a Hyper Pi or a Motion Blue version five, because then if people did want a track mode, they would be able to get it. I feel like that is really what people would want this for. Um, but if you just want a simple image for your Raspberry Pi 3, this is great. Don't get me wrong, it's up to date, you get the, the advanced config. The thing where I'm a little hesitant is with all these new images coming out, a lot of them are using this arcade set or 90% of this arcade set. So, you know, for example, the Virtual Man image that just came out, the new Demeso, a lot of these guys are using the updated arcade sets. So they're already on a lot of images. Uh, but if you just want a 32 gigabyte, which is a cheap SD card, then this might be right up your alley. But as I mentioned, <clears throat> a lot of people like a track mode for bar tops. And a lot of people want these games for bar tops. So that's why I was going with that. No, I mean, great work, really good work done. I'm just saying from a practicality standpoint, why some people might want, okay, so there is R-rated games on here. <laughs> a few so do be careful of that as well okay so many so there are going to be some uh soft pornography on here so be wary of that um those don't seem to be it seems to be in the main arcade folder so you might want to hide those games or delete those games so really cool image though i like that like i said 
it's awesome. The pros are arcade set all the way gone through. Um, you have a lot of four-player games on here. For example, The Simpsons comes with the two-player and the four-player. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes with the two-player and the four-player. And I'm just showing you the whole arcade set here so you can see what kind of games to expect on here. So really nice. So pros, updated arcade set. It's uh, They have video snaps and box art already scraped for you. It's running a more uh, more recent version of RetroPie. Some themes already installed for you. So a lot of that groundwork is done. And the fact that these are arcade games is even better because unlike consoles, retro consoles, they're easy to get a hold of, things like that. Arcades, though, it's hard. You have to emulate them or you got to buy a whole arcade cabinet. So to have this at your fingertips is great. Another pro, it's 32 gigabytes. You don't need to buy a 64 or 128 to run this. So that's another pro. Okay, so a lot of things going for this. I hope you guys don't think I'm just tearing a hole in this. Now, cons though, as I mentioned, one con, or this could be a pro as well, is be careful of some games that do have slight nudity in it. Uh, another con is I wish there was some sort of hyper pie or a track mode on here, because I think some people that are interested in this would love to put it in a bar top or arcade. And then another con is um, that you have to reset your controls. It's a little, it's a really minor thing, but some people that could be kind of a, you know, if they don't watch this video or they don't know how to expand the file system, they're gonna be stuck and like, what the heck? What's going on? Um, and uh, that's about it though. Those are my, my biggest cons on it, which aren't that big a deal. You know, really good work on his part, good stuff, no, uh, you know, it's, it's solid. It's a solid, solid image. I'm just trying to be 100% transparent to, uh, let's see what kind of rating they got in here. So Raiden Jet Fighters, he's got all the good Raidens. Raiden, great shoot 'em up game. Have some fun with that one. Just gonna go ahead and scroll through the rest of the games here. Um, there is going to be um, bezels on here as well, bezels and loading screens. It's a nice little nether touch that we haven't gone over yet. So that's another pro bezels already done for you. And as you can see, quite a lot. Snow Bros, Sonic. You're gonna get your verse games as well. As I mentioned, CPS 1, 2, and 3. So you're gonna have all your Street Fighters, all the ones that run. See, there you go, boom. A lot of them right there. You can always put this on a 64, expand the file system, add some consoles if you want. It does have Neo Geo. You do get all your metal slugs and things like that. Got plenty of Tetris games on here. So a lot of games. A lot of the games you want to see. Almost done. Almost to the end. So there's all your verse games. All right, you got your X-Men. You even have X-Men 4 player. All right. A lot of people ask about that game if it runs. So All right. So as you see, X-Men running well. No lag whatsoever. Good stuff. Start select get out. Select is going to be your default button. So let's try WWF WrestleFest. So you are, it is based off the Swine Apple. So you're going to have Swine Apple boot screens, Swine Apple splash screen. So here's the main bezel. You saw the final burn alpha bezel before. Select to insert credits. So, I mean, it looks great. Love the bezel, love the TV. You can add some shaders, some different shaders if you want. Boom. Got him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, that's a four player game right there. Enjoy that one, that could be a lot of fun.
So here it is, over 2,000 arcade games up to date, gone through. There's still, like, you're always gonna find something. An image can always be worked on more, but definitely a solid one to begin with, solid one to add on to, so really good stuff there. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.